what's so cool is, you know, as I said, traditionally people would go to galleries to look at art. And here we are driving around with Shepherd Ferry in Los Angeles looking for the right wall. What you've done is you've made it more exciting. You've, you've opened up a, uh, our subconscious and, uh, and made us try to understand those kinds of things. To me, that's, the success. that's a success. To capture people's imaginations and to make them realize that they have the potential to make a difference rather than just letting their culture be fed to them by, by MTV or whatever, actually go out and create culture, you know, th that's the healthiest thing, I think, for the world. Oh, wow. You know, normally you don't see stuff that's this complex on the street of mine because most of what I'm doing is illegal. Right. And I'd never be able to right, spend the hours to do something like this, but it's just a huge Xerox that's then painted huge in. Huge Xerox, oh. Yeah, it's eight big pieces of paper. I'm really happy that a lot of people are seeing this, you know, not only because of the work, but you know, the message I'm sending with it and everything. Overcoming um, adversity, uniting the David and Goliath that you can um, beat what seem as insurmountable odds. And uh, so I relate a lot to the Zapatistas, the Black Panthers. Yeah. Um, it's passive-aggressive, you, know? you know that, right? <laughs> <laughs> you've got the rose, but you've got a machine gun. Yeah, yeah. Shepard and Banksy are my favorite artists. Not even so much as like they can outdraw somebody or anything like that. It's the concepts and what they leave you with. These are the guys that created the whole format. I just love the interactivity of what's going on. It's, it's jumping off of the canvas, and it's, you know, it's all around us. Mm -hmm.